Back in southern Utah, Dogtown's adoption coordinator, Christy Luttrell, anxiously awaits the arrival of Aristotle, a young terrier mix rescued from a hoarding situation. How are you? It's okay. The dog's condition is serious. An undiagnosed illness caused his hair to fall out, leaving raw skin covered in scabs. John, do you know how old this dog's supposed to be? Uh, I've got the paperwork inside, okay. so. We'll just sit right here, because we're not going to do that. Oh, my goodness, what's with that? You're very beautiful. Yes, you are. You're very sweet. All right. Christy fits Aristotle with a T-shirt to protect his damaged skin and keeps the dog isolated in case he's contagious. I know. I'm sorry. It's pink. Aristotle's skin condition is the worst I've ever seen. There you go. Got some food and everything. There you go. I doubt he's ever had vet care. The information we have is, is very little um, on him. Um, and he, he definitely came from a very sad state, but he's got a very sweet personality. He's a doll. Hey, Aristotle. Hey, buddy. Hey. Head veterinarian Dr. Mike Dix sees Aristotle immediately for an exam. You look very worried. It's got like paper thin skin. So pretty much on Aristotle, it's fairly obvious his face is covered with scabs and his skin that's left without scabs is very thin. Along his back, he also has all those scabs and some of them are open. So inflamed, your skin is so irritated. Oh, oh, sorry. Even this seasoned vet is shocked by the condition of the terrier's skin. I've never seen a case uh, as skin as bad as Aristotle. You are gonna have to wear that T-shirt. Every time I touched his back, he would kind of buckle down as if it bothered him that I touched him there. There you go, handsome. You can see that he is basically red almost all over. He's got little bumps, which goes along with some type of infection. Dr. Mike believes Aristotle suffers from mange, a disease where parasites infest the skin and hair. He also suspects the dog's former owner improperly used medication causing chemical burns. His upper eyelids are curled back. This is like a burn, whether it be a sunburn or like a chemical burn, which is very possible. Medication actually, if it's not diluted, can actually cause the, the skin to look like his. Dr. Mike will conduct a battery of tests to figure out the cause of Aristotle's problem. My approach initially is just gonna be to kind of get rid of what's obvious and see what's left. We'll do some obvious testing first. We'll skin scrape him, check for mites. Then I'll pluck his few remaining hairs in places. Check for ringworm. And that's where we're gonna start, and then what we're gonna do is treat based on that. It's okay, it's okay. Regardless of what's wrong with Aristotle, we have a pretty long road ahead of us. Until Dr. Mike figures out the cause of Aristotle's disfiguring condition, the tiny terrier will continue to live in obvious pain.